Hi, my super sweet crafty friends. Welcome to my channel, Carolina's Creations Handmade. If you're new, please subscribe and click the bell button down below so you don't miss any of my videos. And today I want to share with you a Dollar Tree haul. I found so many items that would be perfect to make uh, some uh, projects for my crafters. I'm going to start here with the mesh tube and I found this and I love this. Actually, I'm going to make some projects using the carousel paper from Maggie Holmes. I have lots of that paper and I love it. So I want to make some projects with it and I think this will be perfect for that. Look at this, bead tray. These are great uh, if you're working with little tiny beads. These are perfect if you do like jewelry or something like that. It's only a dollar. So you can find bigger ones uh, than this at Hobby Lobby, but this is great for a dollar. I found also this uh, Crafter Square metallic markers and look at how gorgeous. Love this because this also matches the carousel color scheme. So these are perfect. I found these little stickers. These are shaker stickers. I think they're so, so stinking cute. Look at that. I look at this one. So this one is this one and this one is a little uh, tiger. And I love that it's kind of like rainbow theme. Those are going to be perfect to decorate some projects or to decorate like traveler notebooks or um, composition notebooks. So these are so, so super stinking cute. I also found these little gems here. And these also are going to be perfect to decorate my projects using the Maggie Holmes paper collection. It's perfect. It matches perfect that color scheme of that paper pad. And also this little adhesive diamond wrap. It's also perfect for that collection. I love the color, so I had to get it. And I also found this little uh, stickers here. These are like uh, little gems. And I like the colors too. I'm going to use them for different projects and I can use some of them even for the same pro that same carousel project. And look at this, how stinking cute! Isn't this all super, super adorable? This ones would be great uh, for the recipe books. So if you make recipe books for your crafters, these are great to decorate your recipe books. These stencils are super, super stinking cute. I also found this one here and I love this one for the hot air balloon and this would be great also for my Maggie Holmes uh, carousel projects that I'm planning on making and also I like that it has different icons that I can use for later projects. And look at how stinking adorable this one is! The little unicorn and rainbows. Isn't this adorable? La la love it! And I also found this. Look at this guys. Isn't this super super cool? I bought several of this to create words and then I'm going to um, place letters here to place them in different areas of my craft, craft room to decorate. So I'm going to place here like tools for instance and then I'm going to hang there some tools that um, cannot be placed in drawers that you had to hang. And I think these are so super stinking cute to decorate. And look at how cool is this! This is also something that you could decorate and you could sell at your craft fair. I also found these little beads and these are perfect because this is these are also the perfect uh, color scheme for the carousel collection from Maggie Holmes and these are perfect for that project that I have in mind. I also found this and this would be good for some Christmas projects and even for some uh, full projects because they're sort of like reddish but it, they also have like an orange tint to them so I really like them. I finally found this guys. I hadn't found this at my Dollar Tree. It's crazy because I, apparently these guys fly off the ch shelves so I was really happy to find this. I think I found one, uh, one a while ago and I was looking for another one and I couldn't find it so I was happy to get it. I also got one of this. I already had one and this is a super nice tool. If you guys don't have it, I recommend you get one. These are great to remove the um, uh, glue residues from your project. These are perfect because they don't leave marks on your project. Like if you scratch with your nails, usually you can leave a mark. But with this guys over here, you just remove it like you're erasing and uh, the glue comes off and usually it doesn't um, damage the paper so I love this. Look at this Chanel. Isn't this so so stinking cute? Look at that. I just love it and it's so so soft. I wish you guys could touch it. It's so super soft. It's 
amazing. I also found this white Chanel. Look at how beautiful, how so stinking soft it is. I found also this black one, and this one has sort of like a velvet uh, look to it. Super, super cool. I also found this yellow one that I really, really like. Super adorable. I found a pink one, and this one is perfect also for that carousel project. Look at how adorable. I found this uh, mint color. This was the only one left. It didn't have even the wrapper, but I had to get it super, super beautiful. And then I found this purple one. Look at how beautiful that is. Both here, those are glitter cover, and I think these are um, styrofoam, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> Look at this one, it's all like I got egg. It's so funny. But yeah, these are perfect. I've seen everywhere on uh, Pinterest uh, that you guys have been making flowers and adding half of this uh, as the centers for the flowers, so I wanted to try that. I don't know who uh, came up with that idea, but I think it was genius. So if you guys know who came up with the idea of using half of this uh, to add for center of flowers, let me know because I would like to give credit down in the description below. And I also found this. Look at this, guys. Isn't this super stinking cute? I got two because I got a project in mind that I'm going to make and you guys need to get some of this. If you find them at your dollar store, I'm going to be making some projects with this that are going to be great to sell at your craft fairs. And these are just so stinking cute. I also found this one and this one is an acorn acorn shape and these are also great for another project that I have in mind so if you see them these are great for fall so I'm going to create some projects for craft fairs for fall I also found this little guy here and I know this is very difficult to find most people have trouble finding this and I was so lucky I found like six of them and this is great because I'm going to create some projects for my craft fairs and these are perfect for that if you find them get them you're not going to believe the cute projects so you can make with this so this is just adorable and it's only a dollar love 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 it and I found this also and this one says always be thankful this is beautiful i like this for fall but i actually got it because i have an idea in mind for this so if you find some of this get at least two because you're going to need two for the project that i have in mind um and this will be perfect also to make projects to sell at your crafters and it's not going to be any difficult I found a little witch's hat. I'm going to be decorating this to make treat holders for Halloween. And uh, also you can make other projects that I'm going to be making that you can use uh, to sell at your craft fairs if you're going to be doing a craft fair before Halloween. And over here you have this little ghost here. It's so stinking cute. And you can also use them for different projects. I found this... Um, Robins, these are uh, Robins, uh, Robin transfers. These are great for recipe books and for recipe items that you can make it to sell at your craft fairs. These are gold uh, foil. Sorry for the glare, <laughs> but these are also perfect for some uh, things that I'm going to do some projects. So if you find them, grab some of them. I also found this. This one is a self healing mat, and this. A very small one it's only a uh, six by eight and this is so super stinking cute and it's great if you don't want to damage your bigger mats you can use actually this little one it's only a dollar and you can use that and you can cut with it um, you can use it to cut on it you can use it also to place your heat gun and um, the glue from your heat gun would just drop in here and it would damage your bigger mat and this would be great because this can it be easily replaceable. It's only a dollar. It's not like the bigger mats that are more expensive. And this, it's something that can be, in my mind, sort of disposable. So this one would be the one who would take the fall. <laughs> I really love this. Only a dollar. I also found this guys here. And I bought this too. They only have these two colors of sets. And I think this would be perfect to make some sets that you can uh, do to sell at your crafters also found this little uh, wish shape and this one is a dinosaur i think this is stinking adorable and i love it because my niece is crazy for dinosaurs so i saw this and i had to get it i'm going to decorate for make a decoration for her to put in her room and then i found this sassy chic and this is a gel polish remover tool 
So I actually got it to remove some things like from mats, from sticky mats and stuff. I got it to see if it works because if it does, it's a great tool and it's only a dollar. And finally, I found this guy here and I love this for Halloween. These are boxes and look at this. There are like books and I just love, love, love it. <laughs> I'm not sure I I want to do something with it, but I just love it like it is So I'm kind of like battling if I want to decorate or do something with this and it's actually 3d different sizes And no, they don't come three for a dollar. You had to buy one uh, I mean each individually, but look at how cute they are And what I'm thinking here is that I can make mini albums in this size and I can make them white so I can decorate chunky inside of my mini albums and place them here to store so I think I'm not maybe not going to change much on the outside but I'm going to make little mini albums that I can place inside and this would be the perfect container for them and I also found these rings and these are uh, shower curtain rings these are perfect to make little wreaths for uh, embellishments for Christmas for the holidays so if you find them get a listed pack these are perfect to make little embellishments you can pair these with the mini uh, uh, hats the mini beans the mini hats that I make and I'm going to share here the tutorial that I have for two different ones of them I have a mini one and I have a bigger one and you can use a bigger one and one of this Christmas wreath place them as a set to sell at your crafter so this is great so this was my little Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys like it and I want to tell you thank you so much to everyone who joined me for my Cricut uh, Jolly giveaway. The giveaway closed yesterday and then make sure that you follow the rules so you can participate for the drawing. Make sure that you check the emails that I sent to everyone who emailed me to the giveaway email to participate so you can follow the rules and you're not left out thank you so much for joining me thank you so so much guys for your love for your support your friendship means so much to me and i'm also wanting to send some hugs i want to send send a huge hug to my friend nancy she's having a little bit of a rough time as we all have been for several <laughs> months already but um yeah, so I want to send a special hug to her and I want to send also a special hug to each and every one of you who are having a not so bright time right now. It's kind of like uh, difficult to sometimes keep a smile, but keep smiling, keep looking up, things will get better for everyone. I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for your support. Tomorrow I'm going to do a tutorial that you don't want to miss. That would be perfect to use your 12 by 12 paper pads if you don't know what to do with those big sheets that you have. This project will be perfect for them and these are going to be great to sell out your craft first. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing great. I hope you ha you're having a happy Friday and have a beautiful and amazing weekend. And I hope to see you back here soon for my next video. I love you guys and bye-bye.